The National Football League says it now has the right framework to address misconduct off the field. All 32 team owners voted Wednesday to approve a tough new personal conduct policy. It applies to everyone, league officials, coaches, players, and team employees. And as Jim Axelrod reports, the NFL wants to show that rape and domestic violence will not be tolerated. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning. The policy expands the list of the kinds of conduct that will now be banned by the NFL. It also clearly spells out not only how the league carries out its investigations, but when and what types of punishments will be doled out. One of the biggest changes, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell is stripped of key powers. A new official will be put in charge of investigations and discipline. This will be a highly qualified individual with a criminal justice background hired as soon as possible. The eight-page policy covers sex assault, dating violence, child abuse, stalking and harassment, assault and battery, cruelty to animals, and any conduct that undermines the integrity of the NFL is also banned. Nancy Armour, a sports columnist for USA Today, welcomes the changes. For the last three months, it's just been knee-jerk reactions and making, really making it up as they go along. And now there's a cohesive policy, a cohesive process, which is also important. Suspected violators would be put on paid leave and can be punished even without a conviction. The commissioner has final say on appeals. Sex assault and domestic violence offenses carry a baseline six-game suspension. Nora O'Donnell asked Goodell about that issue violence. in September. Does the NFL have a domestic violence problem? One case is too many. One. What we have to do is go back and say, if we have one case, that's something we've got to address. If we have multiple cases, we have to change our training and our education to try to eliminate that issue. The players' union was surprised by the NFL's announcement, saying their unilateral decision and conduct today is the only thing that has been consistent over the past few months. You have to have everybody buying in. And the way it stands right now, the players are not going to. Under the new policy, outside experts will be consulted during the disciplinary process. In cases of domestic violence or child abuse, the league will deploy critical response teams to provide counseling and other assistance to victims, perpetrators, and their families. Jim, thank you very much.